From small cuts to severe fractures, Dr. Felix Dorr sees plenty of leg injuries in his canine patients at Colorado State University's Veterinary Teaching Hospital. If an ailment or injury is severe enough, casts can be handy tools, as they often avoid the need for surgery or anesthesia by stabilizing a leg. Unfortunately, they also come with a downside. That is something uh, that you have to picture as us wearing our shoes for 24 hours a day without any breaks. So we do get um, a lot of sores that can be a problem from those casts. Dior says about half the patients his team treats run into some form of skin issues resulting from casts, most frequently along the back of a leg at the Achilles tendon adding discomfort or more complications to an already uncomfortable situation. In worst case scenarios, friction from casts can even lead to the need to amputate a leg. It turns out though, the solution may be as simple as making casts longer. Typically, veterinarians fit dogs with casts just long enough to immobilize from the joints just above and below a condition. But there's been little research to determine if that was the best method. Dewar spoke with an expert in human orthopedics who suggested Dewar could avoid sores by making casts longer. We started changing it, but I really, I, I'm an I'm a, um, evidence-driven person, so I was wondering, that all sounds okay when you explain it, but I wonder if that's actually true, so I'd like to test it. So Dewar began a study with a student who was primarily funded by Morris Animal Foundation. They tested 13 dogs by placing pressure sensors over the heel and shin bones and fitting them with fiberglass casts that ran from their toes all the way up to their tibia. Then the dogs were walked on a gait analysis mat, with researchers making sure the dogs placed the same amount of pressure and fully used the casted leg. Then the casts were shortened from the toes halfway to the tibia, and the gait analysis was repeated. Dewar's team measured the amount of force the cast put on the dog's legs at each length and found that, in fact, the shorter casts created twice the average pressure as the longer ones. Dewar says this is due to the longer casts being able to distribute the pressure more evenly along a leg. So that's an important finding because it's not really a big deal for us to make that cast a little bit longer and it doesn't bother the dogs anymore because the knee will still move normally. He says while they only tested hind legs, the results can likely be extrapolated for dogs' front legs as well. The higher a cast is, the better to give dogs the opportunity to heal without side effects.